Yo, what is going on you guys? It is me, Tony, coming back to you guys today with another video. So I actually recorded this video, and my file corrupted. Big sad, because I just customized this whole car and it didn't save. But anyways, hey, if you guys watched my stream yesterday, because this, this is all recorded on the same day, but I'm not uploading this video until the next day. Uh, I, um, I did the campaign. I usually don't stream Need for Speed. I just play it for fun and just hop on, listen to music, drive around. Um, but obviously to unlock more cars, you play the campaign. So I've been streaming the campaign, which by the way, it's pretty interesting. So if you guys want to see the campaign, go watch my videos and my live streams when I do stream it. And I also did the other four chapters. I think there's like one and a half left to finish up four. But basically, I unlocked the Mercedes AMG GT which is one of my dream cars in real life. My dream cars, I have, I want an FRS, I want a GTR, I want a Mercedes C63S, and a Mercedes AMG GT. There's a lot of cars that I want, but I'm a big fan of Mercedes, because if you guys didn't know, I personally own a Mercedes, and they're very nice cars. Mine's nothing close to these ones. They're n not even close to the price range or performance or <laughs> any of that, but they're very nice cars. So I bought this car, as you can see, it's a very base model, kind of, plain looking and it only has 456 horsepower so in my video before the file went corrupt I bought this car and I customized it it looks pretty sick so I'm gonna show you guys take you guys to my garage right now and show you basically what I did in the video that was supposed to be uploaded of me customizing it I'm gonna go back and show you guys everything I did because like I can't rep I I'm gonna sh try my best to show you guys how I did it like, I mean, how I replicated it and what I did to the car, because obviously I can't redo all that. So the car came with 450 horsepower stock, so we, I originally took it to the tune-up shop, and that resets every 10 minutes. But for the upgrades that I had for those 10 minutes, I got it to 665 horsepower. Obviously, I'm an, I play this game a lot, so as time passes, I will continue upgrading it. It's just tune-up shop takes forever. You have to keep waiting for the tune-up shop, and the, the, the more you wait the more upgrades you get it's kind of a waiting game with these cars but for those 10 minutes that I had the car I got it to 665 we'll actually check the tune-up shop out again since I'm re-recording this so I upgraded it by almost 300 actually eh, almost 300 not all the way then I went to visual customizations I didn't do a front bumper because it looked kind of weird I added a carbon splitter the alchemist I added blue headlights I tinted the windows to 25. Kept the fender stock. Um, I also kept the AMG brakes because I love the AMG brakes. But I added drilled and slotted rotors. I did Weds rims on it. I personally think they look great on their car because I love the stock wheels and it took me a while to find wheels I liked on it. So I did Weds wheels front and back, fully maxed out um, rim size, side skirt. I did the Alchemist as well. I didn't wide body it for those of you wonder ghosts mirrors. Uh, I didn't do any rear canards. I didn't really like how they looked. I did the carbon prior design diffuser. I think it looks great. New license plate frame with the Need for Speed Rivals, and of course, I have to have my YouTube channel on there, Dodi GP. Um, spoiler: This car, the way it looks, how it's turboed, and it's such an easy car to mod and. Mercedes uses this as their track cars. It was just fitting to put the AR performance wing on it. I know I'm not a big fan of big wings too, but on this car it just fits and I really like how it turned out. Tail lights, I did the need for speed tail lights, took away a little bit of the chrome that was there. Like I said, same wheels and side skirts on this side. I did wing mirrors from Ghost. And I think that was pretty much it. There isn't much to mod on this. It's already a great looking car stock. And then obviously I did the wrap, so I'm not taking any credit for the wrap. I couldn't think of a great one to do because I did a wrap on this. Where is it? I did a wrap on this car, my FRS, because my dream. This is one of my dream cars as well. My dream color on a car is blue. I'm not like a huge camo fan or like I like the transitioning ones, but like. I don't know, it's hard for me to pick which ones I like, but my favorite color is blue, and I didn't put anything really, like on this car I put the Dony GP on the side of it, here let me show you guys, this car I put my YouTube logo on the side of it, Dony GP, yeah right there, 
YouTube Don't EGP. And on the back, I think I put Drift Club. So, I mean, I didn't know what else to put on the new one. I could have put my YouTube stuff and then the same color. But then I was scrolling through. And if you guys don't know, my dream color is the blue. Well, dream car and color is like a, a light sky blue or a blue like that I have on my FRS. And blacked out features. And that's what I had with this car with the rims and the carbon. It was basically blacked out. And then I found this wrap uh, I found it from the community don't know who made it exactly but you could probably find it in the community to just type in Mercedes GT or even if you buy one of these cars it'll be in the community tab and I just love how I look like I said I'm not a huge fan like of camo but this isn't like technically camo it's kind of like a splattered pattern but I love how it transitions from black into like a dark blue and then into the light blue that I love and then it just matches with the black racing stripe because Mercedes has these stripes from factory so I love that I had the stripe and then the carbon and the black rims the big wing like I said I didn't make this wrap but I just I love how the car looks with this wrap so basically that's what I did with the car I did all the visual and cosmetic customizations and I think it's perfect the way it is. There's nothing I want to change on it. I just I love how this car looks. Now there's nothing left to do but to drive the car. And like I said, the more you drive the car, but like I said, you wait for the tune-up shops. Wow, this looks beautiful. So, and this being turboed, instant power to the wheels. Actually, let's get some pictures of this thing. Right there. I don't know if I should get the front of it. Oh, but the front does look really good. I probably should get the side, though. I think right about there. That's a good thumbnail. I like that. Had to get a good picture right there for the video. And it being turboed, it instantly kicks power. It's not crazy fast like my F3 is in this game. But that's what I'm saying. We're going to work at it. And we're going to keep trying to get it. Trying to get it extremely fast. So let's go check the tune-up shop one last time before I end this video. It's like I said, my first one corrupted, so you guys don't know the upgrades I originally put, but it was about 200, almost 300 horsepower in upgrades. But I guess it kind of worked out, because I showed you guys how I upgraded it, basically everything I did in the first video. And you guys get to see it in the daylight. Last video was in the dark. This car looks so good. And there's a new tune-up shop. So let's check it out. I don't like usually buying the stuff that has red boom right there uh... do i really care about my airtime? not really but that's only 10 horsepower like i said see these cards aren't good so then i have to wait three more minutes for a new one but anyways i think i'm gonna end it there guys this car looks beautiful i just like i said dream car that's probably how i would customize it in real life this looks so nice the wrap is fitting, the wheels look great, the big wing, it being turboed, it instantly kicks. It's 700 horsepower now, I think it was like 693 right there. Not bad for it being stock, not even 10 minutes, maybe like not even 20 minutes ago at 450 horsepower. To it now being 700 horsepower, fully cosmetically and customized. Yeah, that was customization and upgrade upgrading of my mercedes-benz amg gt so thank you guys for watching like subscribe share it to everyone you know wrote to 1.1k subs and i appreciate every single one of you guys and that was my mercedes i think this thing looks great stay tuned to for more need for speed videos and uh yeah guys so